Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen, at such a short notice, especially during a summit day. Over the last month, there has been a lot of speculation in the press about my future. I have now made that decision. I will not run as president of the European Parliament for a third term. Next year, I will run for the German Bundestag as the head of the list of my party, the SPD in North Rhine-Westphalia. It was not an easy decision, as it is an honor to be president of the European Parliament, and uh, I am very thankful for the opportunity. Throughout my time in the European Parliament, whether as an MEP, as uh, head of the Socialist Group, or as a president, I have strived to strengthen the credibility and visibility of European politics and the influence and the, of the directly elected European Parliament. Never like in current times does the world need a strong, self-confident and united European Union which stands up for its values and beliefs and defends and strengthens what previous generations have built. My commitment to the European project is unwavering. From now on, I will be fighting for this project from the national level, but my values do not change. I will continue to do my utmost to improve people's everyday life, to narrow inequalities within and between societies. Only by doing this will it be possible to regain the lost trust. Germany, in particular, as the biggest member state of the European Union, bears a special responsibility, which until now I have tried to fulfill as a German member of the European Parliament, and in the future I will strive to fulfill from Berlin. I will carry on my functions as President of the European Parliament with the same strength and conviction until the end of my mandate. Today is not a day of a farewell. However, already today, I would like to thank all the colleagues with whom I have worked closely and trustfully together in the past years, in particular my friends from the Socialist Group. I also thank the President of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, a friend and a great European with whom I have worked fruitfully over the last two and a half years. I would also like to thank the highly committed and qualified staff of the European Parliament who truly believe in the European values and my team, which has supported me tirelessly over these last years.